deal with everyone who walks in the door that's looking for help with finding employment. Um, but then often what happens is um, employment's only a piece of the puzzle. So anybody who's considering career change, trying to find work, trying to access an employment uh, program or uh, go back to school. We have the main office in Woodstock. We also have an office in Ingersoll. Um, we have another office in Norwich. So those are all bricks and mortar. Um, but then we have outreach. So what we do is use library space. So we meet with clients in the library, in the public libraries, and um, we're able to reach out to the corners of the county that way. We have been here always to help people with employment services, and typically that's what people come in for. So um, I think at the very beginning when I started in this role, um, people would, newcomers would come in for employment and then realize that there were settlement services um, that were available as well. So we have different programs here that were funded through Employment Ontario, so to help with employment um, for anyone that's looking for any type of, um, whether it's a second job or a new job or a career change, so we have workshops that are available to help people with that job search and um, you know any transition in, in depending on where they're at we're different than some employment agencies is that we actually will give someone immediate service. So when someone walks in the door, um, they'll be seen immediately by an intake counselor. We have a, an amazing resource area with free computer use. Um, there's free photocopying and faxing for resumes so people don't have to pay for that kind of thing. Um, free printing. We have a job board out front in our resource area that people can look at and access and get information on how to apply to those jobs. And those same jobs are also listed on our website. So when I sit with someone, we talk about their goals and um, whether it's short term or, or long term. I will go to um, our employment consultants that work here and we'll kind of do that team, you know, brainstorming and, and here's someone with this background and who are the employers that we meet with um, just to give more ideas and um, you know so the the newcomer can go and apply to those places um, but then we are on the other side maybe providing some funding support um, whether it's support of me going on the job whatever the need is so I think that extra support that's there is beneficial to both the newcomer and the organization or the employer that's interested in, in hiring them. Anybody who's new to a community, whether you're a new immigrant or you've moved to the area because of a job opportunity, volunteering is a great way to get connected to the community. So it's a great way to see the services that are out there. It's a, a wonderful way to um, become part of a group or an organization. People that live here, newcomers, want to give to their community. They want to have that sense of belonging, um, they want to integrate into the community and that volunteering is, is a huge piece of that. I think we really are a one-stop shop location. We uh, deal with just about every program, employment program that's out there um, and if not we certainly can get the information and direct people accordingly. If people walk in the door they can expect the full range of services from our location. We also have staff that's been here a really long time um, who are very empathetic and um, know a lot about the community resources that are available in Oxford County. The ladies who work the front desk get to know people. And I mean, it becomes a, a really friendly, happy place to be, which is not always the case when somebody's unemployed. We have major players in terms of employment possibilities. I mean, clearly we've got TMMC that's located in Woodstock and all the offshoots of that that happen. Toyota companies here, Toyota plant, there's a hospital and few more industries here. So it's good for the uh, youngsters also to get their jobs, in their own fields. We've got some really innovative manufacturing happening in Oxford County, so I feel like there's something for everyone here, and I think there's a lot of opportunity for youth, and we're hoping to keep them in Oxford County with, uh, with some of the employment that we're drawing here. If I was living in a bigger city, I wouldn't have as much time uh, to spend with them as I have right now. Very difficult, they would be on their own all the time, and like right now living here in Oxford County or in Woodstock, I have plenty of time to spend with them, to show them around, uh, to go to school. And You can go to church, you can go to a movie, you can go buy your groceries and the food you want and 
do all kinds of things that we have to do as a family. My wife, you know, came over to Canada and said, look, you've got to come here and see what it looks like. It's beautiful here. The kids would love it here. And I, then I, I visited. I saw how beautiful it was and I said, yes, we can immigrate. What I like most uh, about the community is the peace and order. As I noticed, the crime rate is very low. Everybody is uh, friendly and caring. This is a place where you can raise your family and experience living a wonderful and meaningful life. I have uh, three kids, uh, one boy and two, two girls. The most important value that I have is actually the education system, the public school system. I have my kids involved in indoor soccer, outdoor soccer, gymnastics, uh, swimming, uh, and the cycling around the region here in the country roads is just fantastic. My favorite place, Woodstock, Oxford community especially. I want to recommend my cousins, my friends over here, they can come visit over here, they will like over here, yeah. I love it.